I would request now Dr. B.K. Jain if the endowment lecture, sir. Thank you, Dr. Rao, for your kind words. And at the outset, let me express my sincere gratitude to the team of All India Ophthalmic Society for this great honor in the name of Dr. G. N. Rao, the true visionary ophthalmologist. All advancement in ophthalmic science must serve the alleviation of human suffering. Let me share our story with the same base. Let me begin with the briefing. How do I got the opportunity to work with Sri Sadhguru Seva Sankhtar, founded by Parampojaran Chodaji Maharaj? I was born in a place called Satna, Madhya Pradesh, and I was fortunate to have a darshan of Gurudev in the year 1959, SN, who used to organize mega surgical eye camps during that time in the nearby place, including in my hometown, Satna, and he was based at the Chitrakoot. After that, I visited Chitrakoot in 1963, and somehow the place attracted me, and I was hopeful to come back to Chitrakoot in any possible ways. As the year gone, Gurudev stabilized a trust to run his charitable activity, whereas I was decided to become a doctor and did my MBBS in Riva and PG from Mumbai. It was in the year 1974, I shifted to Chitrakoot with an opportunity to work for the trust. Let us see what are the challenges we have faced in the initial stage. Being remotely located in the very backward region, challenges were many to provide quality eye care to the rural masses. Each phase of our journey, we were having unique challenge. In the beginning, it was about ensuring basic amenity to the employee, then the problem of the financial constraint, employee retention, and also to ensure we are working together with the advancement in eye care. I realize these challenges can only be taken if we approach with some stabilized core value and philosophies. Let me share this key philosophy, which I have learned and implemented with the blessing of Gurudev, trustees, Guru Bhai, Bahan, and my senior, and I especially remember to Dr. V. Let me explain my first philosophy in the detail. I had great difficulty to convince my family on my decision to live in the Chitrakoot and the initial phase. It was difficult in all sense, but what I found as you start living, you will find way to improve your surrounding with support. Like in the initial stage, we had difficulty in electricity, water, and also to procure supply for delay needs. But that got settled with constant effort and teamwork. And today, in the 250-acre campus, there are about 2,000 people residing in our campus with the deep satisfaction. As there was no school in the nearby area, and I had to make my son, elder one, join in a boarding in Panchigini, Maharashtra. But then I realized not everyone may be able to do this. And unless we have a school for children, retention of employee at the Chitkut will be difficult. In the early 1980, we have opened a school. And I also ensured my son, you may all know him today, Dr. Ilesh Jain joined the same Hindi medium school, as this is the only way to show the faith on the quality of education of the newly built school. Today, we have well established both Hindi and English medium school with more than 3,000 child enrollment. But I also realized, even with all this exceptional initiative, we still have some rural life situation to cope with. For that, I believe the family atmosphere we created consciously helpful. Eventually, People also appreciate and come forward to support you further like the recreation club supported by Infosys Foundation followed to the visa with our Mrs. Sudha Murthy. And when your approach is a holistic, retention becomes easy from our dependency to volunteer ophthalmologists. Today we have more than 100 ophthalmologists to work full time with us. What I want to emphasize here is that retain the people with the skill in challenging area we need to ensure their, their holistic approach. The next is our approach always should be futuristic. 
The reason biggest challenge was lack of health infrastructure. In 72, we have started with a small dispensary in Mandi, as there was no healthcare infrastructure. Immediate to that, we could stabilize 25 bedded hospitals separately. And later, this upgraded to full fledged general hospital. And I care wing was a small department in the hospital working mainly in the winter season. Seasonal imbalance was a great challenge. And May, many were not confident about a separate eye hospital. And the year 2000, we come with a specialized infrastructure for the eye care with the hope to reduce the seasonal imbalance. Our service delivery model was able to tackle the problem and seasonal imbalance was greatly reduced. With volume increase and reduce the seasonal imbalance, we have planned for the next infra development to welcome the future. This upgrade was helpful to get an ABH. Infrastructure and people with dedication alone cannot make things work. You need to be competent in what you are doing. It is a fact that in initial stage to support the doctor, we had to largely rely on the rural individual and volunteer. But eventually, we devised mechanism to ensure rural talent or identify and groom as an eye care professional. Year 1996, we have stabilized School of Ophthalmic Science benefited more than 1,000 students so far. Year 1997, we have stabilized School of Nursery benefited more than 1,000 students so far. Year 2002, we have stabilized Institute of Computer Science benefited more than 500 students so far. So far in various segment train, close to 4,000 rural youth, becoming a self-sustainability, very crucial to bring this mindset, especially those who are in the NGO sector. Till 1998, we are completely dependent on the donor, and I was totally not convinced to depend on the donor alone. Year 1998, we introduced segmented pricing system. It was when, in the year 2006, Dr. Abdul Kalam visited Chitrakut and asked the question of how to difference the poor and rich. I have said, I had adopted the model of the railway system, as it is also never asked caste, creed, religion, social factor, economical factor, on the same way, any while availing the services. We have an additional free bogey, and rest is the same. People can choose on their capacity. The latest figure so the concept is well taken. Help has to become financially self-sustainable for our operational expenditure. All these things are made possible only because of the care and support we have received from the community. With this stabilized community support for the effective reach in we are using all model of the eye care delivery. Annually, we conduct over 4,000 rural reach out camps across 35 most backward districts during COVID times. We also have a good number of vision centers spread across MP, UP, and Rajasthan. Right from the beginning, the organizations were conscious on quality those days during mega surgical camp. Prior to surgery, patients used to give bath, new cloth to ensure hygiene and comfort. And we moved with the time. Since 2006, we are ISO certified. In year 2021, we become one of the largest eye care center with the NABH. We believe in innovation and Catrick Backlog Free Campaign was one of the such innovation. It was a practical approach to scale up the volume of the cataract surgery and reduce the blindness prevalence. With this approach, we could declare five districts as a cataract blindness backlog free. And I was fortunate to give update to honorary joint secretary, Mr. Lava Grawal, and Dr. Pramila Gupta three years before. And glad that it is adopted and getting implemented by NPCB now. So these were the integral philosophy. We could ensure the reach of the advanced eye care to the rural masses. So we have been took there about five decades. And let us quickly see where we stand with us in eye care organization today. Very proud to say, we are one of the largest rural eye hospital. When I say large, yes, it is glad that we care about a million patients every year pre-COVID times. Also to that context, we also do the most number of cataract surgery in India as a single institute. 
and that number is almost equal to one third of what the whole NHS do. And we are not just cataract focus, a comprehensive setup with the high volume, high quality in advanced surgery. We have one of the largest IoT complex in the world with 25 modular eye operation theaters. We are also government of India recognized postgraduate center with the international affiliation. And we train ophthalmologists from worldwide and various country benefited so far. We also ensure our learning are helping other similar organizations through capacity building jointly organized with the Seva Foundation USA. Every year we publish several papers in key journals just to show you our growth story in a nutshell. Sir, 9.2 million outpatients served in 18 years, performed 1.6 million surgery in 18 years. Yes, no doubt we are comprehensive eye care setup with the high volume in all specialty. And you can see how much our eye care services grown from then. And the impact and benefit is the same as a countless. Before I conclude, I want to show you the real impact of our eye care service growth story. Because what you have seen as an impact on what all we have done, it's just a tip of the iceberg. I want to show you a brief film as you visualize the greater impact we could brought in through this eye care growth. Most of the applause. Yeah, the coming draws from far away. I mean, I have a comfort and those things of kilometer books there. Life's difficult when you roll and lose sight. Their search comes to an end when they arrive at the right place. Achhi seva. It's something you feel when you have belief. Bharosa, faith, vishwas, confidence, or yakin all portray the underlying sentiment of the Sri Sadhguru Seva San Trust. For 50 years, the Trust has been relentlessly serving the poor in Chitrakoot with its activities that range from healthcare to education, from women's empowerment to cattle care, from daily development to agriculture. The story of the Trust dates back to the early 1950s when Gurudev Parampur Sri Ranchur Das Ji Maharaj organized free eye camps and relief work during natural calamities in Central India. And in 1968, formally initiated the trust with the goal to provide food for the hungry, clothes for the needy, and sight to the blind. Jab hum sab ke hindar atma sasan ho, atma viswas ho, aur atma tiyar ho, to nishtit rup se utte ka vision vision safal ho paai. Here the Sadhguru Nathar Chikitsala, or the Ani Hospital, is a modern day building that's an oasis drawing tens of thousands of people from the rural areas from nearby states. But what stands out, not only in India, but perhaps the world, is the complex that houses 26 modular operation theatres. In many months, they conduct about a thousand surgeries in a day. <laughs> From saving site to saving lives, the trust has general hospitals. Now moving on to education. To begin with, there is the Sri Ram Sanskrit Mahavidyale that Guru Dev started, is keeping alive one of the oldest languages of the world. Next is the Sangeet Vidyala in Chitrakoo, where Indian classical music is the core of the syllabus. For conventional education, a primary and an intermediate school enrolled from the economically weaker sections of society. Also, the English medium school has more than 1,500 students. For career oriented options, 
first lesson of the computer in school offers bachelor's and postgraduate diplomas in computer applications. At the Southern Institute of Nursing and Paramedical Sciences, more than 400 students get theoretical and practical knowledge while they pursue their courses. On the social front, the trust is successfully empowering women. Travel the trust is grown with nature, can't be ignored, involving itself with agriculture and daily development. The trust is moving closer and closer to sales. This was good. But what strikes is the most thing that houses over 2,000 cows. In the months when food and water are scarce, people from nearby villages leave their cattle with the trust for care and shelter. Because what you have seen as an impact on what all we have done, it just as a tip of the. Before I conclude, I went to so. I believe and advocate holistic approach for the rural development. And this is a combination of the science and faith. Science of ophthalmology is the advancement of eye care with the rich accessible, available, and affordable to all. And my philosophy, a good day philosophy, quality I care for all. We believe in the combination of the science and faith, and it is that this holistic approach help us to achieve this magnificent success in this most rural and remote area. I wish to conclude this great message for all of us. Thank you all. Thank you again, Team All India Afternoon Society, for this great opportunity, and especially thanks to Dr. Parth. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much for being with us and for your inspiring words.